The Justice Department announced more than $38 million in grants to help local communities combat hate crimes. We're joined now by Oren Siegel. He is the vice president of the ADL Center on Extremism. Oren, thank you so much for being with us. When you look at the statistics from the ADL, you see a 36% increase of anti-Semitic incidents in 2022 compared to the year before. And I'm sure that you were expecting 2023 to pale in comparison based on what you've been seeing. I mean, if what we're seeing since the massacre on October 7th is any indication of what the total number for this year, this year will be, um, this is going to be another all-time high. We've already documented a nearly 400% increase in anti-Semitic vandalism, harassment, and assault reported to us since October 7th in comparison to the same time frame last year. Hamas is aware that anti-Semitism is on the rise. We're talking about it in the U.S. It is especially pronounced in Europe as, where, as well. Do you think that Hamas is exploiting that, that this is part of why they chose this moment? I, th I think Hamas is uh, notoriously focused on creating fear and anxiety in the Jewish community around the world and to attacking Israelis and Jews um, in Israel. I mean, one of the realities is, and, and the shocking part of what we've seen in this sort of post-massacre landscape, is not only the rise in anti-Semitic incidents, but how much glorification, celebration, and justification for what Hamas did is part of our public discussion, what we're seeing at rallies, both on and off campus, I mean, is it any surprise that anti-Semitism is increasing when people are lauding the acts of a terrorist group who just massacred 1,400 people? We heard the FBI director, Chris Ray saying this morning, if ever there's a time for that saying, if you see something, say something, it is now. The FBI is looking for tips, they're looking for leads. What do Americans need to be on the lookout for? I mean, it, it's very true. It's not just on the New York City subway where it says, if you see something, say something. If people are identifying the type of uh, uh, language uh, online, they should report that not only to the platforms, but to law enforcement if there's a threat there. I mean, even at ADL and our Center on Extremism, where we are tracking extremists in the darkest spaces all the time, we have seen, for example, a nearly 1,000% increase in threats specifically at Jews, Israelis, and Zionists on a platform like Telegram. And so the more that people are engaged in online spaces and trying to tell the difference between disinformation and facts, the reality is we are also seeing these threats on more established platforms and people should report it to law enforcement. We don't have a luxury to ignore any of these threats. They're raising the alarm. You hear that today. They're on Capitol Hill. They're raising the alarm. Do you think that Americans are listening? Do you think what they're saying is enough? I mean, the reality is the spikes that we're seeing, not only in anti-Semitism, but other acts of hatred around the country, I think it's only the beginning. I mean, this is going to be a long, drawn-out uh, effort that we're likely going to see in the Middle East. And the longer that it goes, the more that people are going to be angry, the more that there's going to be people spreading disinformation designed to feed upon people's anxiety. And so we know that this spike is probably going to continue. So it's critical that our law enforcement agencies, that the administration is saying we are going to double down on making sure that communities are protected. Oren, we appreciate you being with us. Oren Siegel with the ADL, thank you.